Hey guys, Jeff with OptionBoxer.com. Got a cool video for you today, or at least a, a video that I thought was cool. Hopefully you uh, feel the same. Um, but it's uh, going to be a free free download or a free spreadsheet download for you to play around with and test uh, some of the same strategies I was looking at. Um, but basically, I'm, I've kind of called it the Options Profit Simulator. Um, a few months ago, I made a video talking about options expectancy and uh, you know, looking at defined risk, defined reward uh, strategies and uh, calculating an expectancy uh, for those strategies. And essentially what I've done, just to, to be brief and uh, to keep this video as short as possible, is I've taken that concept and I've just ran it over 10,000 trades as you can see here. Um, uh, you'll notice that I've ran it through four different simulations. Uh, one, you know, using different management techniques. And the first one is just going to be holding the, the, the position for a max profit or for a max profit or a max loss. I'm going to be looking at a 50% max profit or a max loss, a 50% max profit or a 50% max loss. And then the, the final one, which is worth pointing out that it's probably the most profitable of all the strategies I've looked at would be a 75% max profit or a 50% max loss. So um, you can see here that it is advantageous advantageous to uh, manage the position. Um, you can see for this one example that holding it to a max profit or a max loss was uh, actually not worth it. Um, you can see it, it kind of answers the, the zero sum options uh, question because you can see we lost 25,000 and uh, as, a, you know, as it were, we spent 25,000, almost 26,000 in commissions. Uh, so it's not actually 10,000 trades, it's actually 9,997. Um, I should have ran this uh, you know, on the bottom end of the spreadsheet, I should have ran it to 10,004 uh, essentially to get the... Uh, the calculations that I wanted, but regardless, I think it proves the same point. And if you get your hands on the spreadsheet, nothing's locked, uh, so you can make adjustments to this as you as you will. Uh, you'll see these kind of these numbers here that are you uh, kind of grayed out a little bit. Uh, those would need to stay there because that's how it's calculating. You can see the win percentage for each of these simulations um, based on the probability of profit. That's how it's maintaining uh, you know the, the the win percentage based on that number is using these numbers here. Um, and you can look at all the calculations uh, on your own time. I'm not really that interested to uh, to discuss that at this moment. If you have a question about it, you can always reach me uh, either in the comments here on YouTube or at optionbox optionboxer.com, or you can email me at jeff at optionboxer.com. Uh, last thing I want to say is if you like this video or you like the spreadsheets that I've made and you would be willing to, uh, please subscribe to the channel. It does really help me, and I'm, I'm trying to grow my channel as much as I can. So... Um, I thank you for those that have uh, subscribed, and, uh, and I very much appreciate you. If I can ever help you, please don't hesitate to reach out to me as well. Uh, but that being said, there's only a few pieces of information you need to know uh, or you need to have to be able to, uh, to run this simulator. Uh, you'll see this little blue button here is just a refresh button, essentially, and it'll just kind of recalculate the, the position. You know, It'll change all these uh, figures. Um, it'll always maintain a, a close to a 75% win rate because I've, I've, I've programmed it to do that or I've calculated it to do that, I should say. Um, so you'll see that the win rate will change uh, as all of the, the trades change, uh, but it, it's always going to be similar to this probability of profit metric that we, uh, that we put in there. You can see the total number of wins, total number of losses. You can see the amount of money you've won as well as the amount of money you've lost. And then, of course, it'll calculate and give you the net um, in almost every scenario that I tested, the, uh, the, the management style of managing it at 75% of max profit or 50% of max loss almost always seemed uh, to be the most favorable. And uh, it's worth also worth noting um, that if you take it off at a 75% profit, you're, you're really, it's, it's really a good decision because you're not sitting there waiting on a trade that you know, may only have 5 to $10 left uh, of profitability. You're not sitting there with that capital tied up um, waiting for it to, to achieve 100% max profit. Uh, and then also if it goes against you immediately and you close at a 50% loss, well, then you're not sitting there holding on to a, a trade that's going to go to a maximum loss. So it, it really makes sense in, in my opinion. Um, worth pointing out here is, you know, and, and I don't watch Tasty Trade enough or I don't know enough about them to, to really say for sure, but uh, I know they're kind of what I've heard from them a, a lot in, you know, in my trading career is you know, manage your winners 
and uh, and and I don't really hear what they do with their losers. So I'm sure I missed something, and I'm sure somebody out there uh, knows more than I do. But um, you know, kind of taking that approach and managing at a 50% profit and uh, letting it run to a maximum loss. Uh, it was almost always the biggest losing uh, strategy. So I, I don't know that I'm uh, in support of, uh, of that particular um, approach. But regardless, you can, uh, can do what you need to or do what you want. But uh, that's you know, just what the data here shows. Uh, so we're going to look at a, a hypothetical trade here just for fun. Um, and then we'll, uh, we'll move on. Or actually maybe a couple of them just to kind of see it in, in action. And then you can uh, download the spreadsheet and play with the, anything that you uh, choose. Um, so let's just go ahead and go to, you know, what I would call maybe a similar options trade that I would take, uh, probably want to go, this is probability of touching. So I'd probably want to go out of the money a little bit. You can use the Delta here, uh, typically around 10 to 20 deltas is where I would place a trade or in the past would place a trade. And then we'll analyze that so we can see it on the thinkorswim analyze page. And then I'm going to make sure my dates are correct. This expires on 415. So we need to make sure that's uh, out there as well and so we can see the probability of this being profitable would be 72.60 so let's start entering some data into our spreadsheet you can see once you enter the probability of profit the probability of loss here will will calculate automatically um, our total maximum profit on this trade would be 24 since that was the credit we received on uh, at the entry so 24 and then the commissions, I'm going to leave the same. This is my total round trip commission cost. You would have to uh, enter whatever number is uh, appropriate for you. You know, some people may get, you know, a nice uh, smaller number for their round trip commission costs. And, and of course, that would uh, impact the profitability as well. But for me, this is what I pay uh, round trip to get into and out of a spread. Um, if it was a dollar wide, five dollars wide, ten dollars wide. Oh, sorry, not that one. Let's see or $10 wide, whatever it may be, you'll just have to enter that in there. You may have to adjust the column sizes so that everything uh, shows appropriately, appropriately, but for us, it's just a, um, a $1 wide spread. And then we can hit this a couple of times if we want to. We can kind of see uh, if you iterated this out, you know, for several, several thousand trades. Actually, every time you hit this, it's going to calculate for 10,000 trades uh, for each different uh, simulation or each different uh, technique or management style, I should say. And, uh, and you can kind of see that at no point were any of these uh, trades over here profitable. Uh, this one over here is kind of mildly profitable. Um, occasionally, you know, over 10,000 trades, you're losing more than you're making. But even, even still, you know, over 10,000 trades to only make $3,000, I mean, it would be a full-time job just to enter that number of trades. You can see here, I've also uh, added this just for, uh, you know, reference. Um, if you did $1 wide spreads, you would have to make 40 different trades a day um, in a year to, uh, to be able to, to get 10,000 trades. So for this to, to be realistic in uh, my own trading or anybody's trading, um, I would have to make 40 trades per day or I'd have to find 40 trades per day that met this exact criteria. Um, if I did 250 wide spreads, I'd have to make 16 trades a day. And if I did $5 wide spreads, I'd have to make eight trades uh, per day. And essentially what that means, oh, of course, if you do two years, there's the numbers there and then three years uh, there. Um, but for this to make sense, uh, basically, I just wanted to say, OK, over the course of a year, if I wanted to lose in this particular example, $66,000 uh, or 68000 whatever it may be, um, I would have to take 40 $1 wide spread trades uh, per day uh, for 252 days, which I believe is the number of days the market is open. It may be a little bit more, maybe a little bit less, but uh, more or less uh, 40 trades per day, which is almost unrealistic unless you're a trader full time. Um, but so in any case, I wouldn't think this, this strategy would be all that attractive. Um, and it, to be honest with you, it's a, it's a trade that I've made, you know, more times than I can even count. I've made this, uh, this exact trade or a trade very similar to this um, very, very often. I always look and say, oh, 72% max profit. Uh, that's that's got to be a good trade. 72% uh, of the time I'm going to win. But yeah, just because I've won more than I, I've lost, uh, the amount that I've lost has been far greater than the amount that I've won. So certainly worth, uh, worth noting there. So let's find another trade. Let's maybe trade something maybe a little closer to at the money and see what that may look like. Um, let's go about here. We'll keep it a dollar wide just for for these examples. 
I traded in the same contract month, so everything should be good. So we're receiving a $54 maximum profit. So 54, and our probability of profit is 56.78 at expiration. Sorry, that's not what I want. 56.78 at expiration. Commission cost doesn't change. It's still a $1 wide spread. Um, and you can see this is a much, a much more lucrative um, strategy trading just slightly out of the money and letting uh, that 56% probability work out for you. It's still above 50%, so you're still going to win more than you uh, lose. And you can see that uh, across every different technique, uh, with the exception of this one that I highlighted a while ago, um, every different technique was, uh, was profitable. Uh, simulation number one and number two seem to be the most profitable. Um, with simulation number three kind of being the third most profitable and those uh, numbers are kind of shown here in this um, bold and outlined box. Uh, but almost always every simulation I've done this seems to be the uh, the best strategy managing at a 75% profit and a 50% max loss. So that's an, a kind of a, a at the money trade or just out of the money trade. Let's look at one that's right at the money just to see what, a, what, what it would look like there. So we'll trade one contract in, one contract out. Let's analyze that trade. Set slices to break even. So now we have a 53% um, with a $60 credit. So 53.13 and a $60 credit. So let's adjust the numbers. Sixty three point one three. All right, let's refresh that. And so you can see over time that is also a very profitable strategy, uh, maintaining that 50 uh, uh, above 50 percent win rate. And, uh, you know, if you look at it over 10,000 trades, even if you traded some lesser number, you could do the math yourself. Even if you only traded five trades a day, I mean, you'd still be looking at a nice profit over the course of a year. Um, you know, trading uh, this uh, particular strategy. Um, again, this is calculating based on the numbers that we enter here. And so for this to hold any kind of relevance to uh, anything more than just a, a fun calculation, it, you would have to set up trades that were almost identical in nature. So while you may not always be able to get a trade that's 53.13% profitable, um, with a $60 credit, you may be able to get a $59 credit um, at 52% or 54%. Or you, you see, as long as it stays close, um, and at the end of the, the, the year, your win rate is about what the probability of profit suggested. Um, and, and then that's always assuming, you know, anything can happen in the market. So you may take, you know, 53% probability of profit trades. Um, and then at the end, uh, end of the year, you realize you were only 49% probability of profit, uh, whatever it actually ends up being in reality. Um, but, you know, we have to start somewhere and this gives us a nice picture of what it could look like if things went that way uh, for 10,000 different trades. Um, and then, of course, the law of large numbers kind of factors in there the, over time. Um, you, you know, you may have extended periods where you're only seeing, um, you know, a 20% probability of profit, but then you'll go through another period where you, were, you see about a 70%. And so it kind of averages out to around a 53 or whatever percentage uh, profit that you're looking at. Um, so that's a, that's a, that's a right at the money trade again, looks very uh, promising. Uh, let's take one trade that's in the money. This is almost never a strategy that I would suggest, but for, for those of us that, you know, see it and think, okay, well, let's take a nice, uh, healthy credit there. Let's, uh, let's take a look and, and see what that might translate into. So we got a 49.87, which is still a pretty good probability of profit there, considering we are in the money, but 49.87 at a $64 credit. So $64 credit, 49.87. And then we can simulate that. Um, looks, uh, looks favorable, at least from the calculation here. And you can see the graphs I've got listed down here. You, I mean, obviously, if it's going upwards from left to right, that's a good strategy. Um, and then it just comes down to which one makes the most sense for, for your uh, ability as a trader. Um, if you don't want to manage it at all, you can see that would be a, a fairly lucrative strategy right there, trading just inside the money. Um, and you can see that uh, over the course of time, it would end up being uh, favorable. Let's trade one last, let's make one more last trade before I end this video. And let's go way in the money here and let's sell that right there. And you can see the bid ass spreads on some of these are quite wide. So that, that goes to show you that the, uh, the market is closed today. Um, and it, uh, 
it, it, you may not be able to receive this uh, this type of credit um, in when you actually when the market opens on Monday. Um, but right here we have a $82 credit and a 30.19 probability of profit. And we have an $82 credit. We can see that even with the low win uh, percentage, we would still be making um, way more than we're losing. You can look through here and you can see when we did win, we won $82. When we did lose, we only lost $18. Um, or over here, you can see that we only lost $9 when we did lose. So we would take a lot more losing trades, obviously. Um, but over time, this, this particular uh, strategy, this management technique almost never uh, worked out. But um, regardless, I think I've, uh, I've uh, you know, kind of talked uh, in circles here for a while. And I feel like I've maybe talked more than I should have. But I wanted to show you everything and hopefully you guys uh, like it. Um, again, if you uh, if you like the video or if you uh, if you've watched to, to this point, I do really appreciate it. if you would consider liking or subscribing or commenting on the video. All of those help me. And yeah, until the next video, see you next time.